Hey, what's going on everybody? How we doing? Today we're going to check out the Yeedy VAC2 Pro. This one retails right now for $359, which seems like a pretty decent deal for all the stuff you get with it. It does have object avoidance. It uses V-Slam for navigation. So for $359, you get the robot. This has an oscillating mopping pad. So it comes with a reusable washable pad that oscillates back and forth. So you can see there, this is going to Move this up and down like that quite quick and it's going to help scrub your floor. Whereas most robot vacuums, they either have a vibrating pad that just vibrates this way really quick and doesn't do quite as good of a job scrubbing, or you have the pads that rotate. Now this for $359, it does not include the self-empty bin you see on the left, but it is ready for one. That is an add-on, but it's only $180, which to me is a no-brainer. If you're gonna buy a robot vacuum mop for your house, once you use a self-empty bin, you pretty much have to keep one. And 180 bucks is a pretty solid deal if you ask me. I'll be putting that through a whole bunch of tests too to see if it's up to par with some of the other ones that are out on the market. So there's the camera on top. That's how it's gonna navigate your house. It has some sensors up front for 3D obstacle avoidance. I'll be putting that through all the tests. So you can see here, here's a couple of flaps. So it's already ready for that self-empty bin, which is nice. Nice silicone and brush roller, single side brush, which is fine. And then here is the bin that you would have to manually empty if you do not want the additional self-empty bin. About average size. Once again, it comes already ready for the self-empty bin. Of course, if you buy just this robot, you will get the charging dock included, power cord, and once again, the oscillating mopping pad. So if this works as good as it says it does, 359, once again, great price. With the self-empty bin, you're looking at 539. But real quick, just wanna show you everything that is in the box. Let me get this guy charged up and we will put it through a bunch of testing. Uh, I'll show you how well it vacuums, of course, how well it maps my house. I'll go over the app and all of its features. We'll do test where I put down stains to see if the oscillating mopping pad is on par with the other ones on the market. And hopefully at the end of this video, I can highly recommend it to you guys. One other thing real quick before I charge this up. This once again is the water tank and the pad. If you don't have that on there and you're just vacuuming your house, it does come with this little kind of like a dummy plastic part. This doesn't hold water or anything. It just stays on there for the vacuum. And they recommend you to keep that on there. All right, everybody, here is the mopping test. In just a moment, you can see the stains better on this angle than when I switched to my overhead angle. I thought the overhead would look good, but for some reason you just can't really see the stains. Right there you can see the stains quite well. Two of each stains, one I squirt down just to compare it to see if it can get up dried stains versus wet stains. I do this on all my tests and the results are typically the same. All right, here's the performance that it does on carpet. I put down a little bit of cereal just for this test. You can see it's going back and forth. I'm not sure why it's so wavy here, but as you can see by the end of this, it actually gets up everything and does quite a good job over the carpet. I actually set it to do two runs, but it picked it all up on the first run. So very good job on carpet. Once again, I don't know why it's wavy, probably because it's camera-based LiDAR is definitely superior when it comes to navigation. All right, 
right now we're on to the hard floor test. I have it run two times as well here. A lot of cereal, a lot of robots have trouble here flicking cereal out of its path. Let's see how good this guy does. You can see it's doing a pretty well job of not flicking very much cereal. I've seen some robots flick a ton of cereal out of its way. As you can see it only flicked a couple of pieces as of now. And that was a decent amount of cereal that I put down. Especially on hard floors. So that was the first cleaning run it just did and now it's going on to its second here in just a moment. And as you can guess from this point, it gets every single bit of cereal. And that's actually a really good job by this robot. I'm pretty happy with that. Alright guys, here is the object avoidance test. I put down two fake piles of poop, two cables, and a shoe. Let's see how well this guy does. This is sped up four times, and let's see how well it does here. As you can see, so far it's done a really good job with the two cables and the poop on the right. Uh, it is hitting the shoe, which to me, not really a big deal. Who cares if it hits a shoe? The only time that would affect anything is if your shoes are untied, and then right now it probably would have sucked up a shoelace and either found a way to get itself untangled or would have aired out and you would have had to fix it. But once again, I just threw a shoe there just for the heck of it to see what it would do. All right, well that's definitely unfortunate. It definitely bumped into this little turd that one time, but then it went around it really good, so. I guess because it was so low, it's gonna possibly run over the poop. It did okay with a bigger poop, but not so much there. So not perfect on poop, but as you can see, the cables are doing really, really well. So it's gonna come down to if you have pets or not if you even care about object avoidance. All right, everybody, it's done mopping. I must say, I'm actually kind of impressed. It did go two times. I had to go clean two times instead of just one, just because of such a small area and then we can kind of see on the video how well it did after the first and then compared to the second. So it looks to me from what I can see, all the stuff that I squirted with the water is completely gone. I don't see anything that I squirted. Now a couple of the spots that I did not squirt, like the yogurt, it got up a good amount of it compared to a lot of other robot vacuums and mops. Here was, I forgot what I put there ketchup or chocolate milk. So it did leave a little bit of the dried spot, but much better than a lot of them do. And that's actually kind of surprising to me. You saw my previous video, you saw the Bissell go. Yes, the Bissell only went one time, but it did a pretty poor job. It didn't scrub up even the stuff that I wet down beforehand. So I'm actually kind of impressed that back and forth scrubbing that thing does is pretty aggressive 
And the proof is right here. It, it actually did a really good job mopping. I'm very surprised. I'm gonna have to do a comparison with this guy against the brand new Roborock S7 Max-V Ultra and just the mopping ability. After seeing this, I think it would be a close battle. I actually think this one might beat that one out. And that would be pretty surprising to me. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to try to work on that soon. And it'll be just a quick video of basically the same exact test, this versus that. I'll try to make it real quick, like three to five minute video. And uh, I have a sneaking suspicion that this one might be able to beat that one. And I will make them both go two times. So stay tuned for that video. But I must say overall, guys, if you watched all those different clips I just, I just showed you, it did a good job on everything. So what do you guys think? For just around $500 with the self-empty bin, that's a pretty good deal with the, with the object avoidance. I'll put the links down below if you guys are interested. Once again, you can get the robot by itself, or you can get the self-empty bin for an extra. Right now, anyway, it's $180. To me, that self-empty bin is worth every penny. You do not want to empty out these robot vacuums by hand every time they get full. It's just annoying. The dirt gets in the air. If you have allergens, that's not good for you. Uh, self-empty bin, I'm not just saying this Yeedy. Any of the self-empty bins, iRobot, Roborock, D-Bot, any of them, I would highly recommend you guys upgrading, especially for 180 bucks. So. All right, guys, so it did good overall, but the biggest downfall to me for this guy is the lack of LiDAR. It can map your house. It just is not very good, to be honest, compared to, like, iRobot or a LiDAR-based robot. It's better than nothing, but if they would have put LiDAR on this, it would have been a, a, probably a game-changer. It would be a much better overall robot vacuum, but I definitely still like it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you have any specific questions on this, please let me know in the comments, and I will try to answer them or make a video for you. And most importantly, have an awesome day. See ya.